Hi everyone, this is Eileen from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I approach a question on um, trigonometry graph, in particular, tangent graph. This is the question that my students sent me. It's actually from 2011, paper two, question two. So let us take a look at this question. We are given this function, fx is equals to a tangent bx, where a and b are positive integers, and we are given that x is between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Now, part 1. Given that fx is equal to 0 when x is equal to pi over 2, find the smallest possible value of b, and this is a one-mark question. So, first of all, B has a relationship to the period of the graph. Since it's a one mark question, then the answer will be pretty easy, straightforward. Now, if you are stuck at such a question, what should you do? So one of the things that I suggest is to put down the things that you know. So what is it that we know? We might not know much about A tangent BX graph. However, what we know is we learn about our tangent x graph. So this is what I'll do. I'll do a simple sketch of my tangent x graph. Just a really quick one. So for tangent graph, we, knew that we know that the period, which is um, pi, 180 degrees, that is how long it takes to complete one cycle. So I'm going to show you one cycle of tangent graph. It looks like this. And one cycle, this is, it takes pi. So over here is pi over two. Zero, y, x. So this is what we know. So for this question, how do we apply it and answer to the question? Now you notice that for tangent graph, when the graph is equal to zero, in other words, when fx is zero, look at the value of x. x is pi. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sketch this graph. Okay, I'm going to copy um, the graph that I've drawn, but I'm going to change the values according to what the question has said. So this is my graph. Instead of pi that I've drawn, the question says is pi over two. So this over here must be a quarter pi. And the equation will be, I'll just put it as y equals to a tangent bx. And you can see that this is the point I'm talking about. When fx is zero, x is pi over two. So from here, we know that period is equal to pi over two. And what has that got to do with b? We know that the relationship will be pi divided by b is equal to pi over two. Therefore, b is equal to 2. So this is how I approach a question which we might not be familiar, something that we might not have learned before. Right? So let us take a look at part 2 of this question. Using the value of b found in part 1, and given that the gradient of the graph of y equals to fx is 12, at the point where x equals to pi over 8, find the value of a. So this is my part 1. Now we're going to go into part 2. Now what is part 2 all about? Let me continue my working here. The keyword here, gradient of the graph. So what is gradient? So the equation will be y equals to a tangent 
and b we have found it to be two so two x the gradient therefore will be y prime and what is y prime y prime means differentiate a tangent to x now when we differentiate trigonometry you need to take care of two things number one you need to look at the angle which is 2x differentiate it it'll give us two two times a will give us two a and the second thing differentiate the trigo function differentiate tangent will simply give us secant square 2x all right so what the information is telling us is um when x is i over a My gradient, you can also call it dy dx. In this case, my y prime is equals to, well, this is what the question is saying. So with that, I can actually put this information into over here, the equation that we have found. Secant square, so secant square, two x, so two times pi over eight will give me pi over four. And then we want to change our secant square to one, two, three, C. So it's one over cosine square pi over four. Therefore, with that information, we can cross multiply to find A. A is simply 12 cosine square pi over four over two. And I can simplify it to be six cosine square pi over four. All right, so what are we gonna do? We'll cut out over here, so we're going to press our calculator. We're going to find out what is cosine square pi over four. So cosine pi over four first. That will be one over root two. One over root two. And therefore A is equal to three. So we answer the question, find the value of A, A is three. And the last part, could you sketch the graph Y equals to FX? So part three, we need to sketch Y equals to FX, which is A is three, three tangent, two X. So this is the graph that we need to sketch. And take note, we need to show them from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So let's get our drawing. As we have actually talked about it earlier on, one cycle for this graph is simply pi over two. So let me just get one cycle up. So this is pi over two. Over here is pi over four. All right, and then we need to do the same. So this is negative pi over four. All right, so the graph continues this way, one cycle. So over here is negative pi over two. This is y, this is x. And we complete the graph. So this is how we approach this question. I hope you have actually found it useful on my thinking process on how I get myself out of unfamiliar situation 
by tapping on what we have already learned. All right, so in additional math, very often you might run into such a problem whereby you will get questions that you have never done before and you might not know how to start. So to build that confidence up, you got to quickly jot down things that you know with relationship related to the question. Like in this case, I've shown you in part A. I started off with sketching how tangent x graph look like. I understand what period is all about. Then I map that onto this question. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.